Good YouTube, it's your boy Monteo. In today's video, we're gonna be replacing some parts in the power steering system. Let's get straight into it. So this is what I bought. I bought the reservoir, and I also bought this uh, this line. I forgot what it's called, but I got a banjo bolt over here, banjo fitting, and then this the line that's actually leaking right here. I did head, went ahead and already took out the intake, but as you can see, the reservoir is leaking pretty bad, and right there, you see like it's shiny. It's leaking from that line too. So the first thing you want to do is disconnect the uh, your intake. That's basically all. I'm not even gonna be jacking the car out for this. And then you gotta disconnect the uh, mass airflow sense from the intake. There's like a vacuum hose or whatever. So the second yeah. thing you're gonna want to go ahead and do is just open the cap. Go ahead and stick something like this in there and pump pump all that old fluid out as much as you can because this is a messy job. So I'm gonna have to put some cardboard in there so we don't stain the floor. So I'm gonna head and drain all that I could. There might be a little still left in there, but that's fine. I don't know how well you guys can see it. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there, that one. And then this should be loose. And then we're going to have to, like I said, if you guys see it up here. Uh, you see that bolt right there? And then there's one over there. And then that one right there. So we're loosening all of that. Pretty much everything we have to replace should be off. And then we can just go ahead and put the new stuff back in and then fill it with fluid. Turn the wheel a little bit, and then we should be good to go. Right, yeah, so I ended up did taking it out. Uh, there was a banjo bolt right here that I had to take out. Uh, basically, what that is is a bolt where a fluid could go through right here, and it does have a seal that we'll be replacing as well. Um, the holes that we're not gonna be replacing, uh, the clamp, one of the clamps got stuck, so the screw actually ended up coming out through one side. So I just flipped it and put it through the other side, and then it loosened the clamp. But I went ahead and took this bracket off this reservoir right here because we're gonna have to use it for the other one. Uh, but now everything's out, and we're gonna just go ahead and put, start putting the new stuff back in, and then fill it with fluid. So as you can see, it's not leaking no more. I got the new reservoir in, and the line is not, it's no longer leaking. That's basically it for this part of the video. The next clip you guys are gonna see is me warming up my Z, going to pick up my friend and installing a whole new cooling system. So you guys, let's go. Got the Z warming up. I know you haven't seen this in a while, but. A little messed up just dry, daily driving there for now we'll bring more content with it soon but i just woke up about to go pick up my man's yeah shit so we can go ahead and record this video let's get straight into it Right, yeah so what we're doing today is we're gonna do a cooling refresh it's not really everything but um we got the Stuart water pump people was, uh, recommended me this and um we got a new clutch and fan and then we went ahead and get a got an aluminum radiator because my old one what had happened was these uh necks for the tubing it broke off so I, that's not gonna happen anymore because these are aluminum and then if anything breaks if, if anything happens to break off it will be the actual hose itself which is easier to replace than the whole radiator so that's what i went ahead and got so the first thing we got to do is drain the coolant so i'm gonna go ahead and jack up the the car I, I believe there's two draining holes one for the actual block and then one for the radiator and all the hoses so i'm gonna go ahead and drain both of those because i am going to be replacing the water pump and that's built in right to the block and i don't want um like any more coolant uh spurring out so yeah you gotta open the cap from the top. Here. So I don't know how well you guys can see this, but that one right there, I believe, is the cooling drain plug so I'm gonna have to do a unscrew that put a funnel there and then let it drain through through right here clean up, clean up. you never see shit uh yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and just go bro this is gonna end in chaos I already know this I already know what it is, bro. <laughs> it's dripping, bitch. <laughs> I'm scared. Bro, should I just like 
put the phone on here. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh! This my poor nigga. I want out, bitch. <laughs> I want, I want to go. Bro, I'm getting drenched, bro. I'm, bro, I'm stuck. Bro, I'm stuck. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is not funny, nigga. <laughs> Damn, niggas in my fucking eyeball. Bro, and it's gonna get full, bro. The bucket's gonna get full, bro. Give me another bucket. Bro, I'm gonna get out, bro. Yeah. Bro, it's in my fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm not taking a shower. <laughs> bro, I hate working on the floor, nigga. Bro, I'm drenched, bro. It's just. This is disgusting. Ugh. Tastes like shit. Alright, uh, y'all, so we got most of it out. As y'all saw, it didn't end too well. But it's out, you know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna put that plug back in and go ahead and start removing all this stuff. So let's, I'll see you then. I'm gonna go ahead and put the drain plug back in and go ahead and uh, tighten that up to spec. All right, so the way you remove these is you go ahead and push down on this with a screwdriver or a flathead. And you go ahead and pry up. And then they go ahead and come right off. And then we're gonna have to disconnect all these hoses and then disconnect it from the shroud and then go ahead and lift up on the um, radiator itself and then unbolt the shroud too because we're gonna be working on the fan. All right guys, so, why so close, boy? Say that. All right guys, so we tried to get the fan clutch out but we do not have the special tool for that. So what we ended up doing, since we're replacing the water pump anyways, we went ahead and just unscrewed the bolts for the pulley, pushed the pulley back and then went to the back and then unscrewed all four bolts for the water pump. All right guys, so right here we have the Stuart water pump. Right now, I got some water pump gasket maker. We'll put a little ring at the bottom of the ring and then somewhere around the, the place where you put the bolts. All right guys, so we went ahead and got the water pump in. Now what we're gonna do is lift this radiator up and go ahead and drop it in. We can't put the pulley on or the fan on yet because the old pulley broke, so I'm just waiting. I'm gonna have to wait to get a new one. But other than that, we're gonna try to set everything else up. So all we gotta do is put the pulley on, then the fan on, that's it. So let's get what we get done today? Me yeah. and <laughs> what we get done today? Me yeah. and I see that Sunday. Again, I did have to go to work. Um, we didn't get to finish, but when I came back from work, it was like 12 a.m. We ended up finishing me and my dad. So as you can see, we got the radiator in, the fan shroud, and everything. As you guys can see right here, it's the new fan clutch and fan blades. Um, we did end up taking out the AC, so there's no more wires for the AC. We got all that sh stuff out. As you guys can see from the front, you no longer see that fan for the AC. It's all nice and good there. I've been driving around a little bit and trying to practice getting as much seat time on the street as possible. And um, it is not overheat. It's not overheating. Um, temperatures are pretty good. Later, I do plan to get a temperature gauge that tells me the exact temperature. Somebody recommended me that too. But yeah, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next videos. I got good things coming next week. And yeah, guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.